if we look at the gamma profile, we can see that below where we're trading, we have the very, very high call wall. So now we have these calls which are below where the stock is trading, or roughly where the stock is trading, just slightly below, and this is going to act as support now. Remember, to the upside, it can act as resistance, but now to the downside, it can act as support because as the stock drops through that strike price of 245, we can assume that market makers are going to have to buy back stock that they have previously sold. So that acts as support here. So remember, these call walls and put walls can act as support or resistance depending on what side of the coin we are necessarily on. And of course, depending on how close we are to expiry. Closer to expiry, you get a more pronounced positive gamma effect and, and the activity, the hedging activity has to happen a little bit more aggressively from those market makers, from those dealers. Let's take one more example here. We've got the SPY. So the SPY today in particular had a very, very difficult day. It started down and it does look like the snowball that I talked about. It started to snowball down throughout the day and really didn't let up closing almost near the lows. And let's take a look at the gamma profile on bar chart premier. We see here, we've got negative gamma throughout this profile, really all the way from 610 down to below 600 on the SPY. We've got these negative spikes, large spikes of negative gamma. What happens in negative gamma? Well, once the snowball gets going, dealers have to sell into weakness. They are short a lot of puts down here. We can see down here in the gold, short significant uh, amounts of puts at the 600 level. So as the market started to get close to that 600 strike, that delta increases on those puts that they're short, and that means they have to sell more stock. So the mechanics of how they do their job starts to become a little bit more clear, uh, don't they, as we see these gamma profiles that give us an idea. They don't necessarily cause anything on their own, but in the presence of a reason for the market to start moving in one direction or another, that's where these gamma profiles start to kick in and potentially exacerbate an existing sell-off uh, or support a sell-off or, or provide resistance on the way up. So it really depends on the profile. 